You make it, if you make shots, it's a different story, man. So f you wide open. Believe it or not, there was actually a time where people compared LaMelo Ball and Julian Newman. I know, as crazy as it sounds, people were actually doing this, and they thought there was an actual comparison. Me, personally, I never even thought there was a comparison to be made in the first place, but I do somewhat understand it. Both of these young men at their time were arguably two of the biggest high school basketball social media stars we've ever seen. On one hand, you had Julian Newman, who's been on the basketball scene, and he's been popular ever since he was in third and fourth grade. The kid, and yes, that's right, I said the kid was literally playing varsity basketball in fifth grade. He was really famous and known for those crazy dribble moves, and yes, he did over dribble at times, and also shooting those long threes. On the flip side, you had LaMelo Ball, and come on now, do I even have to say anything? He's had clout, hype, and attention ever since he was in middle school. He's always been in the public eye, and a main reason for that is because of his dad and his brothers. As LaMelo was growing up playing for Chino Heels, he was always a fan favorite, and everybody loved him. With all that great stuff we just talked about and said, there was a day about three or four years ago where everything completely changed for Julian Newman and his dad. There was a day where everything went downhill, and ever since that day, it's continued to go downhill. Looking back on this day at this current moment in time, the more I evaluate it, the more I'm starting to think this is also the day that many people out there lost respect for Julian and his dad as well. Jamie Newman, which is Julian Newman's dad, was hyping up this quote-unquote game of the year, which was LaMelo Ball versus Julian Newman. Some of you may remember this because this was a huge deal at the time. Like I stated earlier, this was two of the biggest names in high school basketball. Of course, like always, in the Hello Newmans, you had Jamie Newman hyping this up, Julian saying he's going to prove all the haters wrong, and what happened next? It was humiliating, to say the least. This is the day that Julian Newman and his dad, Jamie Newman, were humbled by LaMelo Ball. Although we literally, and I mean literally, watched LaMelo Ball grow up right from our eyes from a 5'5 chicken wing shooting point guard to now a guy who is 6'7 in the NBA taking over, there's always one thing about his game that I've always loved. And that's the fact that we've always known him to be this goofy guy that's always going to crack jokes, but he never talks trash. And it's hard for me to even say he's got this huge ego or he's cocky because he doesn't rub me the wrong way. Yeah, sure, here and there he'll be like, oh yeah, I'm the best, or I'm this, or I'm that, but it always looks like he's joking. I'm sure deep down he thinks and knows he's the best, like any athlete should, but like I just said, it doesn't rub you the wrong way. It's almost like he's got that confident swagger to him, and you love to see it in any athlete. For example, whenever Lomelo says, I'm the chosen one, I'm this, or I'm that, it's hard to get mad at him because he backs it up. I brought that up to say this, with Julian Newman, it is a completely different circumstance. A large reason, if not the main reason, people despise and hate on Julian is because of his ego and it's because of his dad. And I've stated this in previous videos talking about Julian, I don't even think he's this arrogant person, has this huge ego, I feel like his dad is controlling him and he wants him to be that way. And that's a different conversation for a different day. Like I was saying though, I think most of it stems from his father. His dad is the one who brags about him the most. He goes, oh, well Julian has averaged 40 points per game since high school. He has the most points in high school basketball of all time and blah, 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 blah. You guys know the story. Jamie Newman, please shut up. Yes, of course Julian is going to have the most points in high school basketball history because he played on varsity ever since he was in fourth grade. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I don't want to scream in this video and get all too excited just quite yet. The story of today's video takes place roughly four years ago. At this point in time, I want to give you this perspective, and this is very, and I mean very important to our story. It's 2022. Julian Newman is a complete joke. He's a troll, and everybody just laughs at him. But back then, where this story takes place, that was not the case. This is when LaMelo Ball was still in high school, Julian, and people, I'm not saying they thought he could make it to the NBA referring to Julian, but they did somewhat respect his game. This is also around the same time when Hello Newman's was popping off on YouTube. They was pulling like 5 million views a video. Coincidentally enough, like I stated earlier, I felt like this was the start to the domino effect to a downfall. After this moment in this story, this is where everything just completely shot downhill for the Newmans. And ultimately, I don't know another way to say this or sugarcoat it, LaMelo Ball humbled the entire Newman family. And actually, now that I think about it, he also humbled Jaden Newman, and we'll talk about that a little later. We're just going to jump straight into it. Spire Institute, which is LaMelo's team, was matching up with Prodigy Prep, which is obviously Julian's team. I'm not going to hype it up. I'm sure most of you guys remember this. This was everywhere if you kept up with basketball back then. Spire Academy, LaMelo Ball, BBB. We're going to get ready to take this road trip to Kentucky, 12, 13 hour drive. The biggest game in history, Downey versus Fire, Julian versus Mello. Get your merch, baby, get your merch. Okay, you get your merch. 
This is just how you can tell this family's a complete joke. He's not even talking about Jillian's basketball games and ability. He's plugging the merch in a video. Can't even hate on Jamie Newman. This dude had his mindset. He was like, okay, I'm getting the bag. This man was having ads in the middle of videos and we didn't even know it. And a lot of you are going to try to say and claim that nobody bought the merch, but trust me, back then, the Newmans were popular. I can guarantee you they easily made over a million dollars in merch. Easily. And honestly, I don't think it's terrible merch. It's just a shirt that says Prodigy. I mean, it's not the worst I've seen. This is Prodigy Brand's pop-up shop launch. This is Prodigy Brand, not that big ball of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> And this just confirms it even more if you've watched my previous videos on Julian we've made in the past month or two. I've stated that you can't hate Jamie or Julian Newman because they're smart when it comes to marketing. Deep down, Jamie Newman has understood ever since about 9th or 10th grade that Julian had no shot of going to the NBA, but here's what he did understand. That Julian Newman, he's very marketable and he can make a ton of money off of him. And then right here before the game, you got the clip of him saying, they're gonna know Prodigy Brand after this weekend. <laughs> They're gonna know Prodigy Brand after this weekend. There's gonna be no stops. Everybody knows about me. I don't stop. If you go to the bathroom, it's gonna be in a cup. Hey there, can we stop? I'm gonna go pee. You got a cup? Who got a cup? I'm not trying to be in a cup. You gotta hold it for another two and a half hours. Bro, this man Jamie Newman, looking back on it, he was straight up running a sweatshop at that school. He was easily making over a million dollars in the show, and he didn't even buy a plane or a good charter bus for the team. He loaded them up in a white van. He literally loaded up a team full of nobodies in a white van and said, okay, let's go get our butt whooped by LaMelo Ball. Oh yeah, real quick, more than likely this video will get copyrighted. I don't know, it might or might not. So if it does, I will be working in the sweatshop for literally free just to make this video. So if you could go down there, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And we're on the road to 300K. It really means a lot to me whenever we do gain new subscribers because it lets me know that new people, you're enjoying the content. And yeah, I'm just going to be honest. It also motivates me a ton. All right, all right, all right. I know what you're saying, Matt. Shut the crap up. We're not subscribing. Without further ado, let's get back on with it. As soon as Zion's game over, we hop on the court and get a last minute practice. My dad's MIA, so my assistant coach is taking over. Four. Three. I haven't even watched this before, and if I did, I have no idea what happens because this was like four or five years ago, but I can guarantee you the reason his dad isn't at the practice is because he's setting up that pop-up shop to make some money. I guarantee you watch. I don't know where the heck he is, but he better have a good excuse. Let's see here where we're going to put this pop-up shop. Let's see. Bro, I told y'all. I told y'all. You got to wake up, Jamie Newman. He didn't even care about Julian's basketball career. He's just trying to get that bread while Julian's in his prime. They're about to play in the quote-unquote biggest game of the year and this dude is skipping the practice to sell t-shirts and set up the pop-up shop once again i'm going to emphasize this all throughout the video you can't even be mad at him he's chasing the bag okay so julian newman's dad finally shows up and he's giving him a pre-game speech and this is legendary check it out listen tomorrow's huge game you're gonna have ucla kentucky louisville usc western kentucky dayton baylor Everybody's here tomorrow. You have a chance to shock the world tomorrow. <laughs> He's telling all these kids this. And I know I was a high school basketball player, so of course you want to listen and believe in your coach. So some of them are sitting there thinking, hey, maybe they're going to offer me and they're coming to check me out. No, all those schools he listed, they're coming to watch the Mel Ball Inspire Institute. Why are you lying to him, man? Well, I guess technically he didn't lie because he didn't say they were coming to watch them. He just said they're showing up. You win tomorrow, no one cares about LeBron. You won't hear about uh, Houston, James Harden. What you're going to hear about is Donnie Christian shocking the world for a week. We're undefeated here in Kentucky, right? We're going to keep it like that. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. My bad. I said earlier they were Prodigy Prep, but I guess they were still Downey Christian at the time. I don't know, but it really doesn't matter. Morning comes, and today's the day of the big game. This is it. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Oh, man. You can just tell in his body language, demeanor, the way he's talking. Julian, it looks like he was being forced to say this. He knew they weren't going to win this game. Day of the game and day of the pop-up shop launch. All right, make a line. Let's go. Where's the line start? Right here. It was crazy. It was more than I could ever ask for or think for. Bro, what are you talking about? There's like six people there talking about. It was crazy, man. That's the same type of people who say last night was a movie, but they're standing in the corner. I can't get over this picture. He said it was crazy, and there were six people at the stand. This is it. Biggest game in basketball high school history. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's just really comical to me. I hope some of you see through this BS like I do. This show was nothing more than entertainment. 
Jamie Newman didn't believe a single word he was saying. I'm not hating on the guy. You can't blame him. He's getting the bag. I'm just stating the obvious. And I don't even think he's lying when he said this was the biggest game. I mean, when it comes to social media stars in high school basketball, it didn't get much bigger than this, and I don't know if it ever will. You can say what you want about Julian Newman. Yeah, he's five foot five, five foot six, something like that. But the dude was entertaining, and a lot of people, they was intrigued by his life. This game is close. I swear, they always had Julian saying that, and then they show the camera at the scoreboard, and they're down by 40. Yo, I just checked the comment section. Somebody said what I said every game on this show. Man, this game is close. Final score, 185 to 11. My dad looks like he's about to have a stroke. No, Julian! That, do that corner! We didn't come all this way to get our butts kicked. Come on, man! You make it, if you make shots, it's a different story, man. So f you wide open. Auto three point looks are good looks. We're missing them. It's simple, make fucking shots, man. That part right there, that's not fake, that's not scripted. That's the actual coach coming out of Jamie Newman, but still, even if Julian hits his shots in this game, and we'll talk about that in just a second, there's no chance they even win, and there's no chance it's even close. Spire Institute and LaMelo, they were treating this more than likely like it's a scrimmage. Do you, for, now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you think for one second LaMelo Ball was concerned about this game? No. The final score of the game was 117 to 80, and I guarantee you if Spire Institute wanted to score 200, they could have. And then the good old infamous Jaden asking for a pitcher and asking for a follow back, and he says, I don't run it. Hey, you, can you follow me back on Instagram? Yeah, I don't run it. Huh? I don't run it. You don't? Here's where things get even better, though. I got the official stat line for you, and you're going to check this out. LaMelo Ball wound up finishing the game with a little nice triple-double, had 14 points, 12 assists, and 10 rebounds. Not too shabby. Julian Newman, on the other hand, you see over time, they only said he had 15 points, and a lot of people try to hide the real stats, but I did some digging, and I found the official stat line. Yeah, Julian did have 15 points, but he was 6 for 25 from the field. Yes, that's right. You heard me correctly. He finished the game 6 for 25. Do I have to say anything about that? You know it's bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Would it really be a Mad Be Great video if we didn't check out the comments? Let's take a look at them. Sean said, Julian, this game is huge. Everyone is waiting for it. LaMelo, do we got a game today? Eduardo said, Julian be rested, not using energy, saving it for the game. Melo, playing Fortnite, eating McDonald's and hot cheese. You know, that's facts. Now, this is the one right here. Imagine driving 12 hours to get clapped. And once again, this wasn't a basketball game. This was a pop-up shot. This was a money-making decision for that family, the Newman family. And just like I said earlier in this video, if you remember, I was doing some foreshadowing. Check on this comment. Just me or I've lost so much respect for Julian's dad after all these episodes. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this wasn't just the game where Lamella Ball Inspire Institute humbled the Newman family. This is where a lot of people out there lost respect for him. Yeah, I'm not going to read any more comments. They're just pretty much like you'd expect. Everybody praising LaMelo and joking on the Newmans. What's new? Ladies and gentlemen, if that wasn't enough for you, after the game, they had some open runs on that same court in, Matt, wrote a clip. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have seen some clips of that open run, and it's Julian basically try harden and LaMelo just bullying him on the court. When you're trying your absolute hardest going 100 miles per hour, and then you got a guy like LaMelo who is laughing at you and pinning your shots on the backboard, it doesn't get too much more embarrassing than that. If that's not the definition of being humbled, I don't know what is. And then last but not least, he went live on TikTok. I think that's what it was. Might have been Instagram, but I'm pretty sure it's TikTok, and he said this. Yeah, Matt wrote a clip. Um... Yeah, Melo is in the league. He killing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my dog, but that's still my son. Like, I don't know <laughs> what y'all be talking about, really. How much on Cash App to save? Bro, you sent me $100 I saved, bro. <laughs> Just cuz. Why you talking like you from Orlando? Bro, I was born and raised from Orlando. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, Someone think, said that. I think the views are going crazy because I think that video is probably going crazy now. Mm -hmm. fool's, fool's career. Man, you watch my career go crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go up from here. Y'all stay tuned, bro. We got a lot of stuff going, bro. For real. Oh, they said they want to see Jaden. Jaden, come here. <laughs> Jaden. Jaden. Come on. They want to see you on live. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah, what? 10K already. Man, watch, yeah. bro. I told you within the hour. I told y'all. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, bro, y'all give me time, bro. I'm going to get there. I saw some people trying to take this serious, and it's quite obvious to me. He's joking about this, and he's been saying, we got to talk about this. He's been saying, stay tuned. My career's about to go crazy for the past, like, four or five years. Him and his dad are always saying, stay tuned. Something big is going to happen, and nothing ever does. I think it's safe to say, though, after that game against Lamelo and Spire Institute, they've been humbled and it's been the downfall ever since. I don't have too much more to say. I found this a very interesting topic. I hope you guys did as well. As always, we're on the road 300K, so if you want to help us out, I'd greatly appreciate that. And yeah, without further ado, I'm